My earthly mother adored my heavenly mother, Mother Mary. In our house in Baghdad, it was a double story house. There was a room upstairs. She dedicated the entire room to be that prayer room. She had the Holy Cross, the Lord Jesus, the Holy Mother, and all the saints and the Holy Bible. That room was a room of prayer, of contemplation. Every time she was in trouble, every time she needed help, she would run upstairs and she would spend an hour or two there praying, lighting a candle and begging the Lord and his mom. Now let me tell you this. This is a true story, my beloved, to those who have ears to hear as the Lord says. We had this neighbor for years. I'm talking about maybe 30 years as a neighbor. Their son was involved in a car accident. He was one of the passengers. The driver was speeding so fast he drove into a tree and it happened to be the side where this woman's son was sitting. He, wa he went into coma. He had a brain injury and he was in coma for months. The doctors after few months came to the mother and said, your son is dead. Even if he were to recover miraculously, he would have, we would not know the, the impact that happened on his brain. He would probably be a vegetable for the rest of his life. But he will definitely have a scar and that scar could be very, very big. It is best for your son to go and not to come back because what a life is he going to have. But your son now, clinically speaking, is dead. She came crying to my earthly mother. She's a mother and we know what the heart of the mother is when it comes to her children. So she came crying to my earthly mother, begging her. This happened in front of my eyes. Eh? I was an eyewitness. She said, I'm a sinner. You're a saint. The Holy Mother hears your prayers. She doesn't hear my prayers. You go and beg the Holy Mother. I want her to give my son back to me. My mom, as always, she ran upstairs and she went and knelt before the icon of the Holy Mother. She lit a candle and she prayed, I don't know how long. That night, the same night, the Holy Mother came to my earthly mother's dream. And she said, she mentioned the name of that woman to prove to my mom, this is not a dream. It's real. I am the real mother. She said, my mom was saying she had in her hand a head, a human head. She said, take this head and give it to that son. And she called him by his name. And that name is his real name on earth. His name was Edward. She said, take this head and give it and put it on Edward's head. This is a new head. I, Mary, I'm giving Edward a new head. She wakes up. She calls the one and only, yours truly. <laughs> I was the postman. <laughs> Come here, son. Run to the neighbor and tell the mother your son is fully recovered. 100%. And you need to thank the Holy Mother for it. Let me tell you, let me tell you this. Within two days, Edward was sitting eating. Is anyone home? I am an eyewitness. My mom was, she had a very deep, and genuine love for the Lord and the Holy Mother. Let me tell you one thing. If you think saints are dead and the Holy Mother is also gone, you are mistaken, my child. You have no idea 
how the other realm is. Oh, I can assure you, I put my entire this life which the Lord has given me. I put this life on the line. I will never blink twice. The Holy Mother is so alive, you can never fathom. It's so alive and so awesome, so venerated, so highly venerated, so highly exalted, so magnificent, stunning, amazing, amazing, amazing mother. Amazing. If it wasn't for the Holy Mother, I wouldn't be standing now and talking to you. I would be dead physically. She saved me from the mouth of the lion. Of course, by the grace and the power of her son. Of course. This goes without saying, my beloveds, please. Jesus Christ is the one and only. But hang on. The Lord has, has, a, has a mother and what a wonderful mother he has. He adores his mom. And he has given her great and magnificent blessings. I'll say this knowing it, not just believing it. I saw it with my own eyes. When the Holy Mother comes, Satan becomes a little mouse. He can fight other saints, but he cannot fight the Holy Mother. He is that afraid of her. Why? Because the Holy Mother was so faithful, was so loyal to God's plan and to her beloved son, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Her son adores her. So when she goes, the son is with her. And when the sun comes with her, Satan is nothing but a little mouse. Oh, I tell you what, I ask saints, yes, they come. But when I ask my mom, it's done on the spot. So Edward lived and he got married, fully recovered, not a blemish. The doctors and top doctors were blown away. They said, only God can do this. And who gave the head? The Holy Mother. Just to show us how much Jesus Christ of Nazareth adores his mom. He said, it's okay, mom. I'll get you to take the credit. Because <laughs> I love you. And you have tolerated so many things for my sake, mom. You have endured so many obstacles. You have carried so much burden on, on your shoulders for years and years and years. For my sake, do you think I'll forget this? I will never forget every tear you shed for my sake. I will never forget every hour you spend sitting and watching me, praying for me taking me to the temple and bringing me back, washing me, clothing me, feeding me, dressing me, running from one town to the other, from one city to the other, from one country to the other, to protect me. I'll never forget that mother, all the sacrifice you made all these years. I'll give it to you in the next life. On earth, you were a handmaiden. In heaven, you will be the queen. You will be the queen. For he who humbles himself before the Lord shall be exalted. She humbled herself before the Lord. She is now exalted in the presence of the Lord. Amen. Go Holy Mother. Stunning woman. Mighty saint. The mother of all saints. The mother.